everyone. Welcome to my channel. Here's my September wrap-up video. Wrap-up, wrap-up, wrap-up. Ring up a bell? Yeah, seems like I can only do the September wrap-up, so then any other month I can never do a wrap-up. <sighs> Hashtag YouTuber life. Anyways, so I'm going to be talking about the books I read. <laughs> book. Let's, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Book. Let's talk about the book I read in September. So, I've been going through this a year long um, reading slump. Last fall, I really did good. I really got it. I kicked it off. I was reading like almost like four bucks. Four bucks. We were on four books a month, but that's always my goal at least a book a week. And then December came and I couldn't get into anything. And I read slowly and I kind of finished books. Like, I think so far this year, I've only read like six books. Some of that is due to a reading slump, and some of that is over the summer. I was gone all summer working at a camp, and there was just no time. And the time I had to read, I just didn't want to read. I wanted to sleep. So we didn't really read. So let's talk about the book in a half. Let's, I'll make a half, because I'm not the book I'm reading right now, because I'm pretty far in it to, I feel I can count it for a September read. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, just click that subscribe button. I do bookish discussions here like I'm doing right now. And I'd love for you to join part of the family. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I actually don't have this book with me. I took it home. Book I read in September was A Court of Mist and Fury. I love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I couldn't put it down. Like I said, I picked up A Court of Mist and Fury. It was good. I won't say it was my favorite. And then I just never got to Court of Mist and Fury. I kind of picked it up and I put it down. And then I want to read it. I want to read it. I want to read it. But the length was very intimidating because when it comes to a really big book, I need to have just time to sit there and read it or else if I, I'm such a slow reader that if I read a book that big when I'm really busy, I will never either A, finish it, or B, just get bored and put it down. Like, I just don't enjoy it as much. I finally read it and I could not put it down. Like, I mean, honestly, my grace kind of took a suffering because I couldn't put it down, but it was so good. And then, the second book, which I'm counting is in it, you probably have guessed what it is. Quote the Rings and Ruins, the cover. Where is the cover? Oh, I put it here to make it look like a book. A Quote the Rings and Ruins. I love this book so far. I am literally, how far am I? I am like, I'm at part three, The High Lady. So I am pretty far in the book and I don't have that much going. I'm hoping to finish it soon. It's got to find time. And I'm really loving it. I don't like it as much as the second book, but I'm loving it. And so far I'm giving it a four out of five stars, but probably won't see any hits. Okay, now let's get to the books I want to read in October. First book I want to read is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So. You're probably thinking, didn't you read this in high school? No, I didn't. <laughs> and I tried reading it on my own in high school, but I didn't get it. And I mean, I started reading it, and then I kind of just lost interest. See, I, I read it almost halfway through it. <laughs> and so, this is the time where we, I don't know, this just feels like a very fall read. I don't know if it's just the colors on book. I know what happens in it, but I still want to read it because I love the concept of it, and I want to finally try to read some more classics. That's my goal, is to try to read more classics. Let's see if it actually works. So, The Great Gatsby is one of them. Next we have, you are probably going to smash your head against the keyboard when you realize I haven't read this book yet. And it is, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. You're probably thinking, doesn't every 12 year old read this? Uh, yes. Once again, I was late on the bandwagon, okay? So I can't wait to read this. This is the fifth, fifth book in the Harry Potter series. I. Okay, this is my thing with Harry Potter series. Loved the first one. Second one was alright. Third one was good. Fourth one, I don't know if I just, I couldn't, I like the ending. This is why I couldn't get into the fourth one before everybody started going, oh my gosh, why? I started it in a very busy time in my life and I put it down and then every time I tried to pick it back up, I fell asleep. <laughs> so we, I literally just finished it maybe a few weeks ago, but I didn't count it for September because... I really read it like way back of the beginning of last year. So I want to read this book. It's the fifth kid to an ancient Harry Potter series. I'm pretty excited. And then this one. This one I'm actually very ashamed I haven't read yet. I mean some of it because it came out at the end of May. Like I said I was working at camp so there was really no way for me to get to a bookstore. So I guess it's logical. But normally it's this author. The minute her books come out I buy it and I read it. I have not read this book yet. Like this is the longest I've gone without reading her books when they come out. That is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. This is a continuation to Lady Midnight. Lady Midnight, I liked it. I liked Lady Midnight. Would I say it's my favorite? No. So I'm really 
curious to see how this goes. It's been over a year since I've read the first one, so I'm excited. I hope it's good. Does anybody know when Dark Artifacts is supposed to come out? Like, at first it was supposed to be like 2000 and like... 16 or something and then they got moved to 17 and then it's 18 I hear now it's 19 or something I don't know I keep periods changing and I want it to come out because I want to know about Will and Tessa's children anyways Lord of Shadows and I can't wait to read it okay so this next one I need your guys's help because I'm kind of tied between which books I want maybe I'll get to both of them this month I'm hoping to what book do you suggest I read and that is And I Darken by Kirsten White and Crooked Kingdoms by Leah Bardugo. Which one should I read? I kind of want to read this one because it kind of gives me a dark vibe and stuff. But I also want to read this one because one, I love Six of Crows and two, this also gives me a dark vibe. I don't know which book to read. So please put in the comments below what book I should read. Did you read both of these? Which one did you prefer? Or which one do you just think I should read in general? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that was my quick September wrap of you. Because like I said, we didn't read. I failed as a human being this month. Thank you for watching. Bye.